Hi guys, um, today I wanna show you how to create a simple flow for um, notification um, using Teams. So every new item in this SharePoint list, if I create a new item, then in my Teams, we have a group chat here in my Teams that um created item will appear in here so notification to notify in your uh, microsoft teams so let's start um let's go in um, power uh power automate site and then create a flow i choose instant cloud flow skip and uh, this is test only sorry test only flow and then when an item is created i search when an item is created okay so in this case um check it uh, i will choose the item uh, site address check in automate and then the list should be power apps training tracker power apps training tracker and the new step um condition 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 okay so for example i wanna I wanna get the notification for status um, if you have a condition for example um, if an item is created then what if I want only to notify all the um, training title for training 1 or training 2? Um, let's say I, wanna not, I want to notify the group if there is an item for training um, 2. So, how do we do that? First, let's um, con let's create condition and then we will add training title value is equals to training 1. Okay, so all the training 1 will be notified. And then add post a message and post message in a chat or channel and then we will choose user and then we will choose group chat and then we will choose so in my case, I have a group chat name, Kels Training Tracker. So I will choose Kels Training Title. Uh, let's wait until the loading is done. Mm. Kels Training Tracker. And then message. So that would be um, training title. I want to show training title. Um, new item. New item. Created. Then I will select training title value. Sorry. Um, training title. Then date completion date completion 
date completion would be date completion and then status 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 value and then comments last comments okay and then if you want to just add a link to that uh, site please go to Kels training tracker just um, copy the site so um, let's copy this site and then highlight this and then um, create a link just paste that URL here and then I will choose open link in new window then add okay and then it's if you save this um this link will will not work because you haven't um click this uh code view so make sure to click this before saving this uh, flow so let's click this okay and then let's save Okay, so let's try. So I will add new item. Training one. And then status completed. And testing. And then let's save. Okay, and then let's wait the chat here. Okay, so it's working. So you see, um, let's go again. So the item will be new item created, then training title equals to training one. Uh, okay, so the date completed testing and then the link. So it's working. So I hope you um, enjoy this tutorial. So see you, um, see you on a, a new video tutorial for um, Power Apps, Power Automate, and etc. Thank you. Bye bye.